this is how you go from this to this in one day. So the first process to this method we will be doing is the wash and style. So first, you want to comb out your hair. If you have waves, comb out your waves with the grain. If you don't have waves, you still want to comb your hair out just to detangle it. Because detangling your hair makes the first wash a lot easier. So you do want to make sure you don't have any knots in there. As you can see, I'm combing my hair back. I'm wolfing quite a bit. I have a lot of hair in my head. Just to show you this can work for any amount of hair. But you really want to make sure you have no knots in your hair just to make the first wash a lot easier. Because it is very important. Now, you want to wet your hair and apply shampoo for the first time. This is the first wash. Lather is the most important part of the washing style. But for the first wash, you don't really care. You just want to make sure all the dirt in your hair is gone. Second wash, after your first wash, this is the most important part, put that shampoo, the lather will be on command. If your lather doesn't look like this right here, you're doing something wrong. You need to comb, make sure your hair is detangled, and make sure your hair is clean. It's probably too dirty if your lather doesn't look like this, or you're just not using the right shampoo. You might be using an Axe bottle. You don't want to be doing that, use shampoo. Even if it's not good, just use shampoo. Now, this is an optional step. Unless your hair is very long like mine, then it might as well be um, mandatory. It's like a scalp massager. massager. You want to just lay your wave pattern in place before you go in with the brush. But the brush this is the most important part. It's what gets you the waves. And what makes the progress, I recommend using a medium a medium medium to medium hard brush now we're starting off with the crown now we're doing that because your waves all waves flow from the crown and work down quote from a great waiver when you do your scramble wash your crown does get lost so boom you want your lather to be looking like this look at this it's real good it's the lather really gives you the control over your waves. So it's like a Lego. When you're doing a wash and saw, you have a lot of control over your waves, especially when you're wolfing, especially when your hair is long. So I recommend brushing for nine to 30 minutes. Now, when you're applying oil, I recommend applying oil just so you, your hair can come out better. Um, you do want to wet your hair for these first two washes with warm water to open your pores. And then you just want to keep brushing. Brush for nine minutes, at least nine minutes. If it's your first time ever getting waves, brush for at least 30 minutes. Now towards the end of your session, you want to make sure you get a nice amount of lather. And then you want to lay your hair down with your hands, with your palms, in the lather. You want to create like a lay down. This is the plastic bag method, but for a washing style. So you want to do this to make sure all your hair is laid. But notice how your hairline does like dry up a little bit crumbly. So one thing I do to counter this actually is take a hard brush or a medium hard brush and I brush down on my hairline as you'll see in a bit but you want to make sure you just lay down all your hair make sure your crown isn't messy lay down the hair put your hands this is a very important step and then boom fix up the hairline especially if you're getting a, a line up the next day or haircut you need to do this now putting on the do-rag very important with the shampoo still on any mess ups will be detrimental to the process. It will look that lather. You do not want to mess up at all here. Put on your do-rag perfectly with the shampoo still on so you don't ruin everything. 
and then afterwards you want to rinse the shampoo out with cold water with the do-rag still on your hair that's very important if you don't do what i just said none of this will work now you want to wait three to four hours of just natural drying you can use a blow dryer but heat damage does heat damage stay away from heat from your hair just go ahead and just you know go to sleep just let it dry naturally Now, after you do a wash and style, your hair is going to be dry, you didn't condition your hair. So, what you want to do now is moisturize your hair with products. If you don't know what products to use, watch this video right here. Um, you can find all of these in store. I recommend using all of these, what I used to use. Thanks for watching. God bless.